AP champions. So patch 6.22 brought on uh, some new masteries, but not a lot has changed for AP champions in particular. The only real noticeable difference is whether you choose to go continue to go expose weakness or feast, or if you want to pick up fresh blood. Uh, typically, I think fresh blood is just pretty good for laners. So if you're laning and you're AP, you probably take fresh blood. If you're jungling, you take exposed weakness. Uh, and, you know, beyond that, you have, it's your choice whether you want feast or not. If you really love feast, then take it. If you re really love damage, then take fresh blood. Uh, if you really want your team to carry you, then take exposed weakness. So there's your choices there. Natural talent. Um, I actually heard that it's popular to take one point into vampirism which I kind of agree with there's really nothing wrong with extra sustain so if you like that then go ahead and do that uh, I don't really care about sustain that much so I'm gonna go with extra point and natural talent maybe at the highest level to play this is correct but uh, we're not all challenger so and out of these choices, I think Bounty Hunter is probably the best choice for a lot of AP mid laners that don't want to take additional damage. Uh, but if you're a poke champion, you don't plan on getting hit very often, then maybe when you deal 5% additional damage, that's going to be worth a lot to you. If you're an all-in type of champion and you expect to rack up kills throughout the game, the Bounty Hunter can be really good. Uh, because this has a ramp up time. And this also can be up to 7.5% increased damage. So that is pretty good. I think I would prefer this mastery on most most AP mid laners because you have the most chance of killing everyone on the enemy team at least once in the game. Uh, but again, I am very aggressive. So... Personally, I take double-edged sword if I'm coach if I was coaching someone and They felt like they had the, the best late game uh, as compared to the early game then maybe you would want to go bounty hunter, but Only for to facilitate them getting to the late game because you're gonna take additional damage up until that point Where you don't necessarily care if you dealt damage before that maybe bounty hunters your mastery or if you want something that's going to not take, uh, not cause you to take additional damage, but still amp up your damage a little bit, then maybe Battle Chance uh, is the way to go. So I see these all as equally being good. Uh, this is one of the very few times where I would say that every mastery is probably about just as good as the other masteries. They're just good at different things. Uh, with separate trade-offs. Savagery, of course, uh, optional for mid laners if you like to roam a lot. But wave clear is super important for for laners too. So maybe like a Raelian soul takes Wanderer because he just wants to facilitate his roaming, and he doesn't necessarily need the extra damage to minions. Another obvious one, uh, I say this a lot in mastery videos, the choice between Runic Affinity and Assassin. Uh, I think that Runic Affinity's value is trending up lately. So particularly if you're not playing, if you're playing Akali, you take Assassin, right? But if you're playing uh, someone that always wants to be with your team, then maybe you don't need the extra damage. Maybe you just need extra buff duration. Maybe you want a siege better. You pick. You take this. Uh, if your objective is to isolate people and take them from the map, then you go for this. If you want a stronger landing phase, then you go secret stash. So there's not a whole lot of choices left in the tree, as you can see. 
Greenfather's Gift is not something you're going to proc very often in mid lane. If you're talking about an AP mid uh, top lane, it'd be kind of awkward for any mage to be uh, going into the small brush and trying to land an auto. It's not impossible, but it would be not as reliable in the middle of a team fight, which is what I think you need to be focused on as a mid laner. Uh, again, assuming you're mid lane and you're playing AP. And uh, I think that above this line here, I think everything above this line stays the same regardless of, uh, of what keystone you go. I think that the choices you make will be reflective on who you're playing. So uh, Deathfire Touch is typically a late game mastery. Thunderlords would be for the early game. There may be some exceptions where somebody that does mixed damage does better with precision. Uh, and a good example of this is Fizz. His Q was recently changed to being physical damage. Uh, so if you're playing the new Fizz, I would definitely recommend going with Precision and Thunderlords. Uh, if you're not committing to the Deathfire Touch playstyle and build, which is probably a lot less flexible. I think if you're going to go this route, then you need to be going full mage and maybe not getting as on hit of a build. So if you're planning on getting Sheen, you probably want to go this route. And that's basically it for AP Masteries. There are not a lot of interesting choices for you to make, unfortunately. I'd like to see them put an AP Mastery in this tree in place of Bond of Stone because this Mastery is just... Uh, it's overshadowed by the two counterpoints here. So maybe if someone at Riot is watching this, uh, now's your time to shine. You need to put in an AP Mastery into the Resolve Tree.